Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be shopping right here directly from your iPhone or iPad. Doesn't matter which one you have. Well, first of all, we have to look for the store itself. So all I'm going to do is going to type in store. I'm going to see the Apple store. So just tap there. Apple store is going to take you to your app. And then from here, you can see everything. Basically, on the left hand side, you're going to see a whole list of products. So most likely you're going to find the product that you want or you can always search for it. So let's say you don't really see what you want on the left hand side. The fourth option will say search. And you can just type up here what you're looking for. However, if you do see something that you're looking for on the left hand side. So, for example, down here below it says HomePod Mini. I can take a look at these. And by the way, this would be the same thing if you're buying an iPhone, a new iPad, anything, a Mac. You can just tap on it. Once you tap on it, it's going to take you to this main screen. And from here, you can just swipe down just to see a little bit more information about it. Or you can just close this up. Once you close it up, you can just tap on the price itself of the product. Then you can choose whichever you want. So in my case, we're going to go for space gray. Down here below, you're going to see if you want Apple Care. I don't think anybody's going to need Apple Care for this. However, if you want to take your HomePod with you and you're going to take it to parties maybe, or I don't know, if you're going to move it around, I think it might be worth it because you could damage it by mistake. However, if you're not going to move it from your house, it's just going to be like a Nest Mini, then just leave it as is. Anyways, I'm just going to say no, no Apple Care. And if you keep scrolling down, you're going to see the warranty and everything else. Right now, I can just add it to my bag. On the bottom right hand side, I'm going to see Add to Bag. It will take me here at this point, but I don't really care about all this. On the top right hand side of my screen, I'm going to see Continue to Bag. Just tap there. By the way, you can also see your bag on the left hand side of my screen. You guys will see that underneath search. It says Bag, so you can see what's there. And there's a few ways that you can buy this. So right now, what I could do is order to pick up in store. Or I can even pick it up today from the store and they're going to charge me 13 bucks. I can get this shipped to my house as well, which is something I like to do. Plus, keep in mind on the top right hand side of your screen, you're going to see edit. So if you click on edit and if you made a mistake, I can just take this out from my bag right now. But at this point, I'm OK. So I'm just going to tap on done and you can either pay with Apple Pay, which is on the right hand side or just check out. So it does depend what you guys would like to do. In my case, just to make this faster, I'm going to go with Apple Pay. We are just going to see loading. And from here, make sure your postal code is correct. So that's going to be at the top. So you can have this delivered right away. That's an option. Or you can just wait it out. You can wait a few days and then it's going to be free. I'm going to choose that. I'm just going to leave it as is because that's what I like. And here we go. I'm going to continue to pay with my Apple Pay. Just tap there. Then just make sure your shipping address is fine and everything else. If for some reason you couldn't press on that button twice really fast, then it's going to ask you for your passcode. Just put it in and then it's going to take you to this, which is going to tell you that they sent your confirmation to your email. You can take a screenshot of this just to keep your order, but you should be OK. You also have the option to add this as a shortcut to check your status. But that's up to you. But anyways, at this point, we're all done. You can just tap on done. Just make sure to check your email. And right here, once you tap on done, you're going to see everything that you have ordered from before as well. Even if you haven't done it from the app itself, you should see anything else. So I've uh, purchased some things from the website directly and not using the app. It's the same thing. I should see everything in my account. But anyways, as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.